So, if you're an avid internet enjoyer such as myself, you've probably at least heard of Twitch streamer Pokimane, but you may not have heard of the recent shenanigans she's been in. Pokimane's new cookie brand is facing backlash as fans have uncovered a strikingly similar product that was sold at Costco according to Dextero. Other people critical of her have said, Pokimane's new product is apparently just a rebranded Tootsie Midnight Mini Cookie, which she sells for three times the price. The only difference between the cookies is vitamin D3. $28 versus $9.99 for 400 grams. Scam? So, what they are referring to is a brand of cookies that was being sold at Costco for $9.99 at 14 ounces a bag, and if you go to Pokimane's website, you can see her cookies are $28 for 4 bags of cookies. Each bag is 4 ounces, and you can't even purchase a singular bag. It has to be a bundle of 4, 8, or 12. I just wanted to add, on the website, there are comments, and these look fake as fuck. I have no proof, but these names seem fake. All of them are formatted in the same way and sound exactly the same. Plus, they're all singing pretty high praise for Pokemon's cookies. And now, I don't have any proof, like I said, but it, it does look funny. And, uh, you know, they may not be fake, but I just wanted to point that out. Well, supposedly, they're also not her cookies, because they may be coming out of a third-party manufacturer called Creations Foods, using a method known as white labeling. White label products are sold by retailers with their own brand and logo, but the products themselves are manufactured by a third party. White labeling occurs when the manufacturer of an item uses the brand requested by the purchaser or marketer instead of its own. Now I need to add, none of this has been 100% confirmed. A user on Twitter, at Atelisi, I don't know if I said that right, I'm sorry if I didn't, was skeptical of the brand and did some research of their own, and they found out that the Tootsie Midnight cookies are very similar to the MYNA's cookies, which is Pokimane's brand, with the only difference being vitamin D and the price. At Atelisi went on record to say that this is possibly a cash grab attempt in which no work in the cookies themselves was put into, and the claim of creating the cookie is allegedly a lie. Now, there has been a response to these allegations of fake cookies according to Dexerto, a spokesperson for MYNA Snacks, stated in an email to Dexerto, our product formulation is unique to MYNA and exclusive to us. We can confirm that the Midnight Mini cookies were in development for two years. This process included rounds of testing and ingredient changes. Now, this smells like bullshit to me and most other people with eyes and ears. But as I said before, nothing is confirmed at all. So my opinion on this is the cookies are crazy expensive and super suspicious. I also don't see how these would ever be worth it for the price, but I know for a fact that the Pokimane Tier 3 subs are already on their way to spend the rest of their life savings on these overpriced cookies. And I don't have a problem with these being white labeled or even that they're overpriced. A lot of YouTubers do the same thing. I just thought that this was pretty funny, especially how Pokimane is branding it like she's been in the labs with her co-founder every day for two years finding the perfect balance of sugar and chocolate to make the perfect cookie when in fact it's most likely being made by some overworked minimum wage employee just like most content creator brands and merch. That's all, see you next video.